What is the fundamental explanation for the property of mass in objects? How does the Higgs mechanism, a key concept in particle physics, contribute to our understanding of mass? Can we elaborate on the interaction between particles and the Higgs field that grants them mass? This will be today's video. If you are interested in learning about the history of particle physics and exploring the fundamental forces of nature, make sure to check out part 1 and part 2 of the video in the description below. Let's start by understanding what mass is. In physics, mass is a fundamental property of particles that measures their resistance to changes in motion. This resistance to changes in motion is known as inertia. The more mass a particle has, the more it resists changes in its motion. Newton's first law of motion describes a fundamental property of mass, asserting that an object will maintain its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless an external force is applied. However, there is a difference in the use of mass between classical physics and particle physics. In classical physics, mass describes the behavior of macroscopic objects like humans, animals, planets, etc. In contrast, in particle physics, it is used to describe the behavior of subatomic particles such as electrons, quarks, etc. It is an intrinsic characteristic of particles that defines how they behave and interact within the subatomic world. Within the standard model of particle physics framework, mass plays a crucial role, influencing how particles behave and interact with one another and the forces at play. The universe operates under the guidance of this remarkable framework, but for many decades, it had a significant missing piece, the Higgs boson. The discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012 filled this gap and confirmed the existence of the Higgs field, which gives particles their mass through their interaction. Terms like, God particle, and Holy Grail, are popular nicknames for the Higgs boson. These terms are metaphorical ways to describe the Higgs boson's importance in understanding the fundamental nature of matter and the universe. However, many scientists and physicists prefer not to use these terms, as they can be misleading in sensationalized scientific discoveries. The Higgs boson is a fundamental particle in the standard model of particle physics. In 1964, a group of physicists, including Peter Higgs, introduced the concept of the Higgs mechanism as a means to elucidate the process through which particles obtain mass. The concept of mass in particle physics is intricately linked to the Higgs mechanism. The Higgs mechanism explains that particles interact with a field known as the Higgs field, and this interaction is what gives them mass. The intensity of this interaction directly determines the particle's mass, with stronger interactions resulting in heavier particles, while weaker interactions leave particles without any mass, rendering them in a massless state. This Higgs field extends throughout the entire universe. This field's pervasive presence plays a pivotal role in shaping the fundamental properties of particles. The Higgs boson is a minuscule particle formed when the Higgs field gets excited. Its role is to assist other particles in interacting with the Higgs field and acquiring mass. When particles collide, they disrupt the Higgs field, generating Higgs bosons if there's sufficient energy. Nonetheless, Higgs bosons have a very short lifespan and rapidly decay into other particles. When a Higgs boson is created, it exists for only a tiny fraction of a second before decaying into other particles such as photons or electrons. While the Higgs field remains ever-present, the Higgs boson only emerges when the field gets excited. As particles traverse the Higgs field, they encounter resistance directly related to their mass. This interaction is clarified by coupling, which is aided by Higgs bosons. The Higgs field significance lies in its capacity to provide mass to tiny particles, facilitating the formation of atoms, molecules, planets, and even galaxies. To visualize the concept of the Higgs field, let's use a real-life analogy. As a reminder, this analogy is only meant to aid in visualizing the concept of the Higgs field and does not perfectly represent scientific reality. In actuality, the Higgs field is invisible, and its application is at the subatomic level, influencing the behavior of elementary particles in particle physics. Imagine a room filled with people, representing the Higgs field permeating all of space. Now imagine that these people are mingling, forming groups, and interacting with each other. The interactions between people represent how particles interact with the Higgs field. Some people have a harder time moving through the crowd, while others move more easily. Now, let's imagine a person walking through the room. This person represents a particle moving through the Higgs field. As the person moves, they encounter resistance from the crowd, slowing them down. The resistance experienced by the person represents how particles gain mass as they interact with the Higgs field. The more resistance a person encounters, the more massive they become. 
Now, let's add a few enthusiastic individuals, representing the Higgs bosons. These individuals are excited and have a short attention span, quickly joining different groups and creating small disturbances in the crowd. When two or more people collide, the crowd around them gets excited, representing the creation of Higgs bosons due to high-energy collisions between particles. However, the excitement is short-lived, and the Higgs bosons quickly disperse into the crowd, representing their short lifespan and decay into other particles. This analogy helps visualize how the Higgs field interacts with particles, giving them mass, and how Higgs bosons briefly appear during energetic interactions. The Higgs field is indeed a scalar field, which means it has magnitude but no direction. Scalar fields are associated with particles that have spin zero, as they do not possess intrinsic angular momentum. The Higgs boson, which is the excited state of the Higgs field, has a spin of zero, making it a scalar particle. The vacuum expectation value, VV, of the Higgs field is the value it takes in its lowest energy state. Unlike other fields, even at its lowest energy state, the Higgs field has a non-zero value throughout all of space. This means that the Higgs field cannot have a value of zero anywhere in the universe. This unique characteristic sets the Higgs field apart from other fields in particle physics. When particles interact with the Higgs field, they gain mass based on this vacuum expectation value. The Higgs field has a non-zero vacuum expectation value throughout all of spacetime. The vacuum expectation value refers to the average value of the Higgs field when no Higgs bosons are present or when the field is in its lowest energy state. This means that even in the absence of Higgs particles, the Higgs field still has a constant value associated with it everywhere in the universe. The Higgs field's constant vacuum expectation value is a crucial characteristic because it breaks a fundamental symmetry in the early universe, known as electroweak symmetry breaking. The breaking of this symmetry is what gives masses to the W and Z bosons, as well as the quarks and leptons. Without this symmetry breaking, these particles would be massless. Before the Big Bang, the universe was in an extremely hot and dense state, and the fundamental forces of nature were unified. As the universe expanded and cooled rapidly during the Big Bang, the Higgs field underwent a phase transition to its lowest energy state, known as the vacuum expectation value, VEV. This phase transition led to the breaking of electroweak symmetry and the emergence of masses for certain elementary particles. However, our understanding of the conditions of the universe and the behavior of particles before the Big Bang remains speculative and is still the subject of ongoing research and theoretical exploration. As mentioned earlier, the Higgs field's non-zero vacuum expectation value, VV, is responsible for giving mass to elementary particles through the Higgs mechanism. The amount of mass a particle acquires depends on its interaction strength, also known as coupling, with the Higgs field. When particles have a stronger coupling to the Higgs field, they experience more resistance or drag as they move through it, resulting in a larger mass. Conversely, particles with weaker couplings experience less resistance, leading to smaller masses. This explains why different particles have different masses. For example, W and Z bosons, as well as massive quarks and leptons, have significant couplings to the Higgs field, which gives them substantial masses. On the other hand, Particles like photons do not interact with the Higgs field, and as a result, they remain massless. The Higgs mechanism is essential for the electroweak theory, which unifies the weak force and the electromagnetic force into a single electroweak force. Prior to symmetry breaking via the Higgs field, the weak force carriers, W and Z bosons, and the electromagnetic force carrier, photon, were massless. However, after the Higgs field transitioned to its non-zero vacuum expectation value, the W and Z bosons acquired mass through their interactions with the Higgs field, while the photon remained massless due to its lack of direct interaction with the Higgs field. The experimental discovery of the Higgs boson was a major milestone in particle physics. Prior to its discovery, the Higgs boson was a missing piece in the standard model. The Higgs boson's existence was postulated to confirm the presence and mechanism of the Higgs field, responsible for giving particles mass through the Higgs mechanism. High-energy particle colliders like the Tevatron at Fermilab and the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN were crucial in the search for the Higgs boson. In July 2012, scientists at the LHC, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, announced the discovery of a new particle consistent with the Higgs boson with a mass of around 125 giga volts per square of the speed of light. 
The square of the speed of light, denoted as c squared, is a constant that appears in Albert Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, where E represents energy, m represents mass, and c represents the speed of light in a vacuum. This discovery was a historic achievement, confirming the presence of the Higgs boson and validating the role of the Higgs field in particle mass generation. The future of Higgs boson research is indeed filled with excitement and opportunities to address unresolved questions in physics. Scientists will focus on exploring Higgs boson interactions with second-generation matter particles, searching for extra Higgs-like particles, and studying Higgs boson self-interaction to gain new insights from present and future experiments. In our upcoming video, we will explore the different classes of subatomic particles. We will take a closer look at these particles and learn about their unique characteristics and roles in the realm of particle physics. Today is also a special day because we hear two presentations from the two experiments ATLAS and CMS on their update on a search for a certain particle. Conclude by saying that we have observed a new, new boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GeV at 4.9 standard deviations. So, zooming in this region. As a layman, I would now say, I think we have it. Well, I would like to add my congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. It's taken... <laughs> it's taken. <laughs>